Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waha, Raka Kodash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are, in fact, and indeed, an Israelite, all right? If you could perceive it through the Spirit, as well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the sisters, the women, as well as the children who believe on the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so Brother Karataza, and I'm back with another video epistle, Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it, man. And, you know, I was thinking of uh, 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 a lesson to pull forth to uh, feed the sheep, all right? And I was going to do a KJV Bible verse of the day, but when I got in inside my home, after I got off work at the plantation, I uh, cut on the news, and I'm, I'm seeing this thing with the... Uh, impeachment all right they're the uh they're trying to impeach donald trump again for a second time and this time the charge is solely on uh inciting uh insurrection all right and we know that this is in the bible man these are in the scriptures and all of these prophecies are popping off so without me no further ado of me rambling the first scripture that we're going to grab this is going to be the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9, and we're going to start at verse 1. And it reads, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, so to give you a synopsis to those of you who are new, this is the prophet Ezra speaking, all right? And the one who answered him is the angel Uriel, okay? Because uh, Ezra's had a lot of questions for the angel, all right? So he let's read this again, 2 Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure ha if karateza, which is measure the time diligently, all right? Uh, ha is the... Aif is time and karateza is diligently in diligent in uh, Paleo Hebrew. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, and the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, he created the blueprint and he gave it to his firstborn, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and Yahweh Shai with his elect. Uh, Alahayim, all right, elect men, those elect angels, those powers, hey, they went forth and they created this world, all right, this earth, all right, as well as many other planets, okay, and uh, we have signs, all right, what, what, what are some of the signs, hey, we're going to get into those, but I want to grab a precept real quick, and we're going to go to the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach. All right, uh, so like it, that's Ecclesiastes. We want Ecclesiasticus. Uh, we're gonna grab uh, chapter uh, 39 and we're, and we're gonna read verse 1. All right, and it reads, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High Yahweh and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies, man. Hey, and a uh, number one, a big, huge prophecy. I was going to say a number one prophecy, but I'm not going to say that. A huge prophecy is that there will be sedition among men. All right. And, and we're in the last times and we're 
literally seeing this. It says there should be sedition among men. And the Bible also says that there shall be insurrection. All right. It's not that what is that not what we're seeing now. Do you still not believe in the Heavenly Father? How about Shimmy How Shai? All right. What, what is it going to take, man? All right. Let's get this again. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 39 and verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, how, who, who is going to give their mind to the law, statutes, and commandments and try to follow them? All right. Hey, those of us who fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem Shai, those of us who love the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem Shai, we're giving our, we're constantly meditating on these scriptures. We're constantly in fear of going off and the judgment that can come from going off from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem Shai. All right. And it's occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in the prophecies. Why will we seek out all the wisdom from the ancient? Hey, let's grab this real quick in the book of Romans. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Romans, I want to say 15 in verse four. OK, kind. Yep. Yeah. And it reads, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience, all right, and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, all right? So, hey, that we through patience, all right, suffering, all right, and comfort, because the scriptures are a comfort, all right, onto us, might have hope, all right? Hey, let's grab this real quick. Uh, that comfort, man, it, it brings a scripture to mind. This is going to be First Maccabees chapter 12 and verse 9. If my memory serves me correctly, we're going to go straight to the point. Yep. And it reads, therefore, we also, albeit we need none of these things, that we have the holy books of scripture in our hands to comfort us. Man, that's all we need is the Bible, man. All right. The Old Testament the uh, Apocrypha, which after the Old Testament, you you would have the Apocrypha in the Bible, which they took out. And then the New Testament, man, that is our comfort, man, that we might have hope, man. That's why we say we're the hopeful elect, because no one knows if they're going to be of that number of the first fruits. All right. So with that, let's go here. All right. And grab another OD but goodie. Let's go here to the book of Isaiah. Chapter 33 and verse 6. And it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is his treasure. All right. That's why I said, uh, if a person was to rewind this video, I said that we love the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shimei Shai, but before that, what did I say? What came first, though? The fear of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Man, that's 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 what you got to have, all right? And under meditating on these scriptures, hey, if the Rakhah Kodash, the Holy Spirit, is working with you, hey, man, you're going to be stable in these times because we're all about to go through it, man. All right, everyone is going to be tested, okay? Some people are going to funk. This the test in the next two weeks. All right. Some of you don't already funk by taking that vex that vaccine. All right. That poison being injected. And if you took that uh vaccine, what's going to stop you from taking that RFID microchip? The mark of the beast. All right. Spoken of in the book of Revelation. What's going to if you if you let them put that shot in you, that means you have you trust in Esau Edom system. All right. So that was the first step. What's going to, what would stop you from taking that RFID microchip? You're done. You're cooked. The Lord not dealing with you, man. All right. Hey, that's why we pray this. All right. Hey, those of us in the know, we pray this script. Hey, we, we hope the Heavenly Father does this. This is a book of Revelation chapter three. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. Behold, I come quickly. 
Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. All right. And we have faith in the Heavenly Father because it was given to us as a gift. All right. Let's get this real quick. Ephesians uh, chapter 2 and verse 8. And if you don't got this, then, hey, man, the Lord not supping with you, man. He not dealing with you. All right. Uh, this is the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High Yahweh, not of works, lest any man should boast. So you can't make yourself have faith. All right. If you can't make, oh, I'm, I got, no, the Lord has to give you the gift to believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. And to believe in order to even believe on the heavenly father, Yahweh. All right. So with that, let's go back into this, uh, into second Ezra uh, chapter nine. Uh, and, and this time we're going to go to verse three. Uh, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, man, it's so many earthquakes jumping off. Man, you don't even hear people speaking on the earthquakes no more. You don't even hear, uh, which he could be a Jake. I'm not sure. Uh, Dabu Seven, all right? He used to always speak on the earthquakes last year, the year before that. You don't hear none of that. You don't. So much, so many things are popping off. You don't even hear him speak on uh, doing an earthquake counter no more. At least I don't. Okay. So uh, with that, let's grab a precept to that. Okay. This is going to be the book of St. Matthew. Uh, let me see here. St. Matthew chapter 24. And we're going to grab verse 7. All right, and it reads, uh, matter of fact, we'll start up, uh, verse 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, all right? Hey, do, are we not here civil war, all right? Is that not, I bet you that's trending, as people say. If you typed in uh, civil war, I bet you that would be trending, okay? See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Hey, so going back to that Isaiah chapter uh, 33 in verse 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Because, yeah, hey, I can only speak for myself. Yeah, I, I, I'm worried about the uh, future. I'm worried uh, uh, about the outcome. I'm worried if the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Yashai, going to beat me up and deem me worthy to uh, be on a chariot as a first fruit. Okay, but hey, what does what did it say here? Uh, for all these things, so like I'm gonna just start it over. Saint Matthew chapter twenty four and verse six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the, the beginnings of sorrows. All right. These are a, all, all this, all this, man, it, it's famine over here. All right. If you got to go, if you, I'm not saying those who are greedy and going, but if you're in a, if you're in a situation right now to where you have to go to a food bank to get food, man, you're going through a famine. All right. You 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 you're going through a slight famine right now. All right. And I'm not saying that to shit on nobody. I don't got plenty of food boxes before. All right. So, hey, don't I'm not slighting you, but I'm just using that as an example. If you literally had to go to a, a food bank to pick up a food box and wait in line for hours, you're experiencing a, a famine. OK, so. uh with that, let's go back into the book, uh, 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 Second Ezra chapter nine. All right, and this time we're gonna read down to about uh, six, and it reads in verse uh, five: For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even no, we're gonna read now. Even so, the times also 
of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. All right. And we got the signs right now. All right. This place, this entire world is crumbling before our eyes, man. And there's no, you can't put a bandaid on it. There's nothing you can do. All right. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by its works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. All right. Because if you have faith in something, you're going to do something about it. You're actually going to put in the work. All right. Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be a pitiful, so like then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. All right, so hey, all of all of those who who were given a gift to believe on the Heavenly Father and, and start off doing this work. But fell off. Hey, what did this? What, what did it say here? And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. All right, that's why starting with the Apostle Tahar, the Apostle Tahar, all especially him, and hey, he's one of the top four apostles, a uh, great millstones. Apostle Tahar, the Apostle Ramlab, the Apostle Gabar, the Apostle Rakar, they all have a a a, a certain what what I want to say. Uh, uh, a saying that they always say. And what do the Apostle Tar say to those of you who took your hand off the plow? Is a missile waiting for you, man. All right. He said, you're going to eat a missile. That's one of his catchphrases of many. Okay. Uh, let's get that again. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Verse 10. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. All right. And we receive benefits Every day from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Hey, I, 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 the Heavenly Father gave me a benefit just making it to work safe and, and, and making it back here to my home safe. Hey, that's a benefit, man. All right? And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. All right? Hey, the window of opportunity is steadily closing. All right. Hey, we're still, hey, YouTube is still up. We're still able to upload these videos. We're still able to go out on the highways and the hedges and prophesy. Hey, that window of opportunity is still open. Let's get that again in verse 11. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. All right. Hosea chapter four and verse six. Matter of fact, let's get it. Because even though that's an oldie but goodie, I was just about to butcher it. Hosea chapter four and verse six. And it reads, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Man, we could stop right there if, if we're going to go line upon line. But I'm going to read the whole verse. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And when y'all call on the Heavenly Father, you how about shit, y'all shy, and hey, he's going to forget you, man. All right? He's going to act like he don't even know you. All right? Hey, got to get it right, man. So we're going to go back in Second Ezra. Uh, chapter 9, we're about to close out. Uh, verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. So, come on, man. Hey, basically, hey, man, continue to measure the time diligently. Measure ha if karataza. All right. Hey, these signs is jumping off. Hey, man, repent to the Heavenly Father. How about Shemel Shai? All right. Always pray. Pray unto the Lord when the thought comes to you. Man, hey, pray that the Heavenly Father deliver you and your loved ones, man. 
All right, so with that, Lord willing, this video is edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, Kol Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Waha, Rakah Kodash, Barakatam. All right, once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in his word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessing, salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in all truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.